I'm Dr. Bogdan with St. Luke's University Health Network, and today I'm with Chris from Black River Farms. We're at the Trolley Barn in Quakertown, and we were going to talk a little bit today about food pairings with some of your wines. Yeah, thanks for coming out today. Let's jump in. I see this beautiful charcuterie board and a few of your wines. What can you tell me about them? So we have a mozzarella and a gouda here today with a semi-sweet white, a dry rosé, and a dry red. I would pair the dry red with the uh, mozzarella. Uh, the gouda might be great with the semi-sweet white. Uh, a lot of these flavors we try to counteract uh, to bring out more flavor, not only in the wine, but also in the cheese or whatever you might be tasting in the charcuterie board. And if you haven't had enough grapes in your wine, you also have some of that here. Absolutely. Nothing goes better with it. Red wine is rich in polyphenols and micronutrients naturally present in plants. These compounds have been shown to improve heart Heart health and circulation. Inside of this dish here, I was told, is it honey? Yeah, it's a, a local raw honey, which goes great with wine, whether it's with the cheese or fruit. We have a couple aspects of each of the food groups, which I appreciate. So you've got fruit here, you've got protein um, with both the almonds and the prosciutto. You got dairy through the cheese. Most of them always include some sort of a carbohydrate or bread or crackers. So it's actually a really healthy thing to snack from and share with friends. We like to think that they're tasty, but also healthy too. When you have folks come in and they're interested in a wine tasting or a food pairing, kind of where do you start? Well, if they're ex an experienced wine drinker, they tend to know what they like and we can kind of start that as a basis. If they are a new wine drinker, that's my favorite type, we get to find out what they you know, enjoy. So we typically will start with a somewhat semi-sweet wine where it's kind of not too dry, not too sweet, right in the middle, and then we can work off in either direction. We're part of a, a big operation here being in the trolley barn, but it's really cool to see people come in, be interested in wine, whether they're an older wine drinker or a new wine drinker. One of the coolest aspects is seeing somebody come in, you know, that even if they think they know what they like, we usually end up finding something else that they like. Chris, it's really been a pleasure talking with you about some of these local options. Medically, we recommend alcohol in moderation. Red wine has the benefit of the antioxidants. If you have any other questions, by all means, come and check it out. Chris is here between Thursdays and Sundays. Thank you so much for coming. Like what you saw? Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.